Hey guys, this is Omni Jr. Bear here with a Toy Day Tuesday. Um, this one is for Mercy's Classic Skin Edition, number 790, uh, Nendoroid. Um, this, I know that other people got it back like way early in January, um, but those are the ones that bought, purchased it from uh, Blizzard. Uh, Good Smile had a bit of an issue with their shipment um, and it got held up in customs, so they actually had to ship it uh, to a local. Uh, their local people here in the U.S. and then have them shipped it out to uh, um, people that bought them. But it's here now. Uh, it's pretty pretty convenient because, um, you know, Valentine's Day coming up. Mercy is my Overwatch main character um, for the most part. Mercy has about 250 hours and then the next character is D.Va uh, at like 49 or something. Um, so uh, Omni Jarebear is uh, my Overwatch uh, I, I play on PlayStation 4. Um, so, uh, but let's look at what we got here. The box is pretty standard from the other ones. If you remember, I did both Tracer and May. Um, May was, uh, Tracer was a little more popular than May. I think May got, May got 86 views versus Tracer's 110. Um, so I'm very, uh, very excited. There's not a lot of accessories um, with this one. There, uh, I think it's, and it, mainly because of the, the wings, her Valkyrie. Um, usually when they have larger accessories, such as, um, if you remember last week, I did Saya Yamabuki from uh, ba Bang Dream. And uh, they gave her a full jump set, so she didn't really have any other out accessories outside of that. So, um, but I'm really excited to see how she's sculpted because she's also posable, just uh, super posable, just like the other Overwatch um, Nendoroids uh, that are that are uh, in the series. So, uh, but let's open this up. Okay, so here's her out of the box. Um, she is very, very posable. The wings are also posable. Um, I can show you here. Like you can tell that they are. Ooh. Um, her legs, uh, and arms are the super posable kind and her accessories, um, uh, like I said, her accessories were not many, um, uh, you know, in a way they were, but they're, the, the, they're basic for Mercy since she doesn't really have a lot of, uh, there's been contention about that a lot. She doesn't really have a lot of, uh, uh, abilities and stuff. My one thing I do, um, I do have an issue with is they only include the heal beam. They don't include the damage buff beam. Um, so you only get a yellow, not a blue. Um, they could have added that, which would have been nice. Um, this is also really cool uh, because I know that usually when you added hinge uh, hinge items, they can break fairly easily uh, just because of the, the wear and tear uh, is much more because you're opening and closing it um, frequently. But there's actually two different pieces for when there's healing. Because when you heal, these blades come out of the staff and uh, kind of grow out. Um, but when it's not in use it's a regular staff so you know you just kind of pop this off you see that little peg in there sorry little peg in there a hole pop that off put it back on to put the one you want to use for the healing and then the healing goes in the little holes in oh just try to focus that one right on top of the thing both of them have them so don't worry about uh, if you don't know how to, for, for whatever reason, you don't want to pop this off and, and uh, have it have it uh, open because the, both of them still have those holes in them, um, which is kind of why I'm wondering why they didn't just give her a blue beam because easily um, this is what it looks kind of like when it's actually um, using the power up. Uh, mainly, uh, but it's mainly like slightly open. So then um, she, of course, she comes with two hands, one hand, uh, one uh, hand for the uh, the left where she's holding uh, where she can hold her gun and then the one in the right where it's just kind of like a hole where she can hold her staff um, and as you can see it's it's just you know you just slip it in it's thin enough uh, then she has a extra piece for when she's doing um, guardian angel kind of uh, uh, flare I think there's a victory pose I don't remember the name of it and then she comes with two face plates this is the standard one um, she has on right now is the battle action ready one. And then she has like this, um, I don't know, this face is weird to me because I'm like, I'm not sure what it's supposed to be. It's, it's, I guess it's her smiling and I guess you can have her do the clapping pose, but it didn't really come out that way. Maybe with the, uh, maybe it's just the eyeshadow that they, they have painted on. Um, so also you can take these parts out. You don't need to have her have the, um, Valkyrie wings. These are these are removable. 
Uh, her halo does not come off, though. So if you were hoping to kind of do some casual uh, mercy uh, kind of uh, Nendoroid body swaps, just know that her thing doesn't her her uh, thing does not come off. Let me show you uh, actually uh, what it looks like. Because there's another thing I want to show you that the reason, big reason I kind of really like these uh, Nendoroid uh, Mercy, uh, I'm sorry, Overwatch Nendoroids is because now I have all these faces, I can kind of make little uh, Overwatch Nendoroid comics that would be funny. Uh, but yeah, see, it doesn't really come off. And in fact, there's one spot here and then it kind of, it's, it's different on the other side. Uh, but the other thing that I wanted to show uh, as far as the faces though, like there are a lot of things you can do um now with these so um i'm just gonna pop one of them in since it's got a little bit a teeny bit of time um so but like mercy when she's activated uh valkyrie and uh after some enemy teammate has used a uh a, a, a ult and now she has instant res <laughs> like oh i hope i hope they don't get resurrected after that so uh there's also also like there's just a bunch of them i'm gonna probably post up a lot of them on instagram uh within the next couple days because uh which is omni jair bear uh on instagram as well or at, uh, at omni jair bear just like my twitter and my youtube um but basically there's a lot of cool things you can do um with the faces uh for instance you know like when you're being ch when mercy's being chased by a uh by a tracer uh, and no one wants to help her hold on it's a little bit difficult with the with the some of these nendoroids sometimes because the faces are not 100 percent um compatible uh, as far as the just the the um the grooves in there, but you kind of got to work with it. Being chased by an enemy mercy uh, or enemy tracer. Um, but anyway, guys, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.